The anechoic room is a highly specialized lab that allows you to make acoustic measurements without having to worry about standing waves in the room. These standing waves are absorbed by the fiberglass wedges that are on the walls, the ceiling, and the floor. The anechoic chamber has fiberglass wedges that are about a meter deep and they're mounted on the walls, the ceiling, and the floor of the room to absorb all sound above 100 Hz. There's a heavy gauge wire mesh floor suspended a few feet above the floor of the room which allows you to have fiberglass wedges down there to absorb sound 360 degrees. For this experiment, we have a four foot diameter wooden board which acts as our infinite baffle. Got it mounted to a rotator here. And we've got an eight inch woofer mounted on the front here. It's surrounded by acoustic foam to absorb any sound that would reflect off of sharp edges from the board or from the driver frame itself, which would cause irregularities in the response pattern. We've got a high quality half inch microphone here mounted on a rod suspended from the ceiling of the anechoic room so that we can measure the sound coming from the loudspeaker. The rotator is set up so that it will only rotate 360 degrees and then stop. Then when you press the start button again, it'll rotate back the other way by 360 degrees. However, it doesn't just go from 360 to zero and, and then back again. It starts a little bit before zero degrees and then when it rotates all the way around it finishes up a little bit past zero degrees. This way you eliminate any problem with the rotator accelerating and waiting for a constant rotation rate. By the time you go through zero degrees when you start it up it's going at a constant rate. So I'll go ahead and start it. You see now it went through zero degrees and now as it approaches 360 degrees you'll see that it goes just a few degrees beyond and again that's so that when you go through zero degrees at the beginning and then 360 degrees at the end you have a constant rotation rate. Also the reason I'm starting with the speaker facing away from the microphone is that I want the point at which the speaker is facing the microphone to be at 180 degrees or at the middle of my data so that I'm not making a, a splice on the polar plot right where my data is most interesting.